This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America you'll never find me. Well, today's commentary is going to be on the war on drugs. Yes, sir. June 18th, 1971, President then Richard Nixon declared war on drugs. They had a budget of $50 billion to fight the war on drugs. They were going to stop them from coming into the United States. They were going to destroy them when they got into the United States, and they were going to imprison anybody who used drugs or who sold drugs. And that would stop the drugs from coming into the United States. And miraculously, everybody who was using drugs would just stop doing it. What a great plan. Yes, Richard Nixon was one of our greatest presidents, was he not? Yep. Very forward thinker. Well, not only President Nixon, but every president after him, Included this keeps going the same thing 50 billion dollars or more a year to do the same Type of war on drugs and I'm here to tell you John Bob's here to tell you that approach will never work It's time to change our approach on the war on drugs and instead of uh, Focusing totally on trying to stop drugs from coming into the United States We need to stop the use of drugs in the United States. We need to help heal the people who are addicted to drugs in the United States. We need to help the families of the people who are uh, have uh, family members who are drug users and get them off of drugs. We need to teach our children reasons not to use drugs and uh, that's the way we're going to stop drug use in the United States of America, you are never going to stop it by just cutting off the supply. You have to cut off the demand. And so Jim Bob's approach is change the war, continue to fight the drug lords who are sending stuff in, that's all right. But take some of that $50 billion a year and start allocating it to helping people get off of drugs, getting yourself drug-free lives. They can be a community in the community. Stop for God's sakes, stop imprisoning somebody who uses drugs. It serves no purpose whatsoever except to put him in a prison where there's more drugs than there were on the streets. It's just stupid. So let's change our approach to the war on uh, drugs. It's the longest war we've been fighting. It's over 48 years, almost 50 years we've been fighting this war. So you think Afghanistan is the longest war ever? It's not, it's a war on drugs. So um, let's change our approach. Thanks for listening. Jim Bob's out.